What's up everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to Box Mining. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin Gold. That's right, you heard it right. Another version of Bitcoin called Bitcoin Gold. So I'm going to talk about the objectives of Bitcoin Gold, the mechanics of how to try and to do this, and also when it's going to happen, and what I think about this whole project overall. So let's start off with what they're trying to do here. They're trying to fork Bitcoin. So that is, they're going to use the transaction history of Bitcoin, but after a certain point of time, right now it's designated to be October the 25th, they're going to create a variant, a fork in the road. And what that is going to do is, what's different about this fork, is they're going to try another type of mining for it. So what we do know is that with Bitcoin mining right now, we use something called ASICs. So that's very dedicated computer chips that are specifically for the, the Bitcoin algorithm known as SHA-256. What they're trying to do here is they're trying to say, all right, ASICs is controlled by a few big companies. And what we want to do is we want to, instead of using ASIC-based mining, we want to change the algorithm to something called Equihash, which is something similar to what Ethereum uses, and that's going to use graphics processors. So instead of using ASICs, instead of using these specialized chips, we're going to use something that's going to be more akin to GPUs to mine. So it's going to be like Bitcoin. It's going to have a lot of the similar properties of Bitcoin, but it's going to use GPU mining. And it's going to be ASIC resistant because we know that Equihash is GP, um, ASIC resistant. The reason why some people don't like ASICs is because that um, it can be controlled and more centralized by one party. Right now, there's a producer called Bitmain, which is very popular, and they make the fastest and cheapest ASICs. And as a result, they have a huge amount of market share, and that results in people just all buying from them. And they can also have a huge mar part portion of the market as well. So the project is headed by the Hong Kong company Lightning ASIC, and they're trying to replace it with GPU mining. What they're going to try to do is they're using something called a hard fork. So a hard fork is when you change Bitcoin's code, the code is very easy, well, kind of easy to change because it's open source. You can just readily read the code right now and just make the alterations. They're trying to make these alterations on the code and they're going to make it incompatible with the current version of Bitcoin. That is what a for hard fork is known as. A hard fork is when you implement something that's not backwards compatible and this results in the chain rejecting each other. So one part of the clients would say, hey, guess what? Uh, we're running this version of Bitcoin and then the other one called Bitcoin Gold would say, yeah, we we want to run our version, we're going to keep our transaction history. So anything before uh, after, before um, October 25th will be exactly the same, but stuff afterwards will be different. So as a result, what we're going to see is we're going to see this chain split. It's going to become two versions. And if you have Bitcoin prior to October 25th, you're going to have Bitcoins on both branches, Bitcoin Gold and Bitcoin. Well, now, do, what value do they have? Do they always have the same value? No. Well, people will most likely accept Bitcoin to be the real Bitcoin, and the most of the value will be there. And the new fork called Bitcoin Gold will have some value. How much value that is, we don't know. I mean, it took a while for Bitcoin Cash, a similar project, to find its value. And it's going to be exactly the same thing for Bitcoin Gold. The thing is, of course, Bitcoin Cash proved that forking Bitcoin is successful. People will use it, even though there's other alt currencies out there people will still use Bitcoin Cash. And as a result, this is why Bitcoin Gold has such a strong drive forward. That also means that anyone who possesses Bitcoin and holds a lot of Bitcoin will also have a lot of Bitcoin Gold as well. So that's going to be a motivation and a drive for these people to want the value of Bitcoin Gold to go up. However, that said, there are projects like this done in the past. And I've see, said famously, I've seen famously at the Bitcoin Cash Roundtable that they've talked about, you know, these clones of Bitcoin not being successful two or three years down the road. It's because if everyone keeps doing this, there's going to be a flood of whatever Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Silver, um, Bitcoin Rio. There, there's going to be tons of these fake clones of Bitcoin. And that's why they're going to be less and less in value. And over time, they might be of very little value that don't, they don't even hit the top charts anymore for a coin market cap. The other argument, of course, is that Bitcoin Gold might offer other advantages that's not seen in Bitcoin because the mining algorithm is different. There might be an alternative. There might be an incentive for miners to want to do that. Especially if you're doing Ethereum mining, you might move some of your hash power over to Bitcoin Gold. So we're going to see what's going to happen. So the summary of what's going to happen is that there's going to be a new Bitcoin. And if you hold Bitcoin prior to August the 25th, you're going to have both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Gold. Of course, Bitcoin is going to have the most value 
you. And there's going to be another fork coming up called Segway2x coming up. So there's going to be a lot of confusion in our market, that's for sure. But the thing is, we survived one of these and we did create a new Bitcoin cash out there, which does have value. So maybe this one will have to. Guys, what do you guys think of Bitcoin Gold and this project? Do you think a different algorithm is something that's interesting and that you might look towards? What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification button to be part of the notification squad. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.